until the current period or until the last 30 years. It was conventional wisdom, both in science and theology. We're alone in the universe. The whole, the single repository of life anywhere in the, the known universe. Well, no one believes that anymore. In 1961, astronomer and astrophysicist, Dr. Frank Drake devised the Drake Equation, which calculates the number of worlds with intelligent life capable of technologically communicating with us. According to Drake's own calculations, there are 10,000 communicative civilizations in the Milky Way galaxy. Four decades later, the Drake equation has been greatly expanded on by Dr. Amir Axel, best-selling author and associate professor of mathematics and statistics at Bentley College, Massachusetts. His latest book, Probability One, deals with why there must be intelligent life in the universe. My calculation of probability one goes far beyond uh, what was explored with Drake's equation. Drake's equation refers only to our galaxy. My calculation goes to the visible universe as a whole, which has billions of galaxies and each containing billions of stars. So if you multiply all these numbers, you get tremendous odds for the existence of life. I think one of the main changes that has taken place in recent years in astronomers' views of whether or not there might be other civilizations elsewhere in the universe has to do with the fact that we've discovered dozens of other planetary systems around other stars. Now, in most cases, the planets are giant planets like Jupiter, not the kind that would harbor life. But where there are those kinds of planets, there are likely to be other planets, too, in those solar systems. And so we're optimistic these days about life elsewhere. What's the nature of the universe we live in? What is our relationship to the larger reality? 